Hi, Howie Jacobson here, and today I want to talk to you about how you can get better results with AdWords by lowering your click-through rate. Sounds strange, right? Well, click-through rate is not the be-all and end-all of AdWords. It's a great number. Google loves it because the more you get clicks, the more they get paid, but it's like bench pressing. At the gym where I used to go, everyone was like, how much do you bench? What do you bench? And bench pressing is great. It shows how much strength you have in your, in your shoulders and arms. But if you're just lying down on a bench and pushing up, that says nothing about your back, your legs. And so um, in the real world, how often are you going to lie down on your back and push something up? And in the real world, how often do you just care about how attractive your ad is? So today I want to talk about how you can get better results by purposefully lowering your click-through rate. So let me give you an example. Suppose you sell windproof umbrellas, and the main type you sell, the type you want to sell, are little folding travel windproof umbrellas, the kind that fold down to 6 or 8 or 10 inches and can fit into a purse or a backpack. Now let's say you go to the Google Keyword Tool, you type in windproof umbrella, and you discover there's about 6,600 searches a month for the keyword. So let this big circle here represent all the searches, all 6,600 searches in a given month, for windproof umbrella. There's some over here, there's some over here, there's some over there. Now, let's think about the market for windproof umbrella. Now, there's a few different things people might be interested in. One might be a golf windproof umbrella, one of those big ones that uh, comes up about 36 inches high with a wooden handle and it's uh, huge. You can put your whole uh, golf bag under it. You can uh, carry it with, uh, with four of your buddies under this thing. They're just, they're just giant. So obviously, if you're not selling that, that's not the market you want to appeal to. Another market, in addition to yours or the golf umbrellas, could be promotional windproof umbrellas. Somebody wants to get a uh, thousand of them made kind of cheaply, uh, but say they're windproof and give them out to all their clients and prospects as a, as a way of promoting their business. That's not the group necessarily you want either. What you're looking for is the group that wants a windproof umbrella, but wants to be able to take it with them when they travel. So. If you were to go for the highest possible click-through rate for windproof umbrella, you might write an ad something like world's best windproof umbrellas or windproof umbrella 100% guaranteed or something that would appeal generically to everybody. And then you get a pretty high click-through rate depending on uh, how well you made that appeal and what the other ads were saying. But you don't want to do that because you don't want to bring all the golfers and the promotional people to your website. Why not? Because you're not going to sell them anything if you don't have anything to sell them. And you're only going to pay Google for the privilege of bringing them there with no, word, with no purpose. So instead of that, you're going to think about writing an ad that specifically targets the travel umbrella people and becomes irrelevant to everybody else. So your headline might be, world's smallest windproof umbrella. Clearly the golf folks are not going to want that. Maybe some promotional people might. Um, if that's what they're looking for, but if they are, then good, they're your, they're, they're your customer anyway. So you might do something like you know, travel windproof umbrella, uh, small enough to, to fit in a toothbrush case, or whatever you're going to say. So those are ways to lower your click-through rate by disqualifying. John Paul Mendoza was my first sales teacher, and he taught me that sales is 90% disqualification, and that works on the AdWords search results page as well. So when you do that, you then are targeting not the whole range of all 6,600, but maybe the 4,000 or 3,000 or 2,000 or 1,000, whatever the number is, of people who should be coming to your website, who should become your customers. So when you think about your ideal customer, you want to think about that bullseye in the middle, and you want to aim for them. You want a really high click-through rate from that group, and you want a really low click-through rate from everybody else. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.